Alright boys and girls, today we're going to go over the best beginner and grinding builds. So this isn't just for new people, this could be for veteran players that want to level up a new character or you know you want to farm CP as well. Alright, without any further ado boys and girls, let's get into it. Now, I had a good sit down and think about what would make the best beginner build. And fundamentally there's two things that we want to achieve. One is, is there sets that can help us level up faster? And two, is there some sets that gives us options and versatility as we level up and also don't noticeably get weaker and weaker as we level up? And lucky enough, there is a couple sets in the game that gives us these exact things. Now, I'm presuming a lot of people watching this is gonna be new, so I will go over these sets really quickly. The first is Heartlands. Now, this is gonna give you a line of weapon damage, a line of magic, stamina, and then the five piece bonus is increase the effectiveness of your weapon traits by 100%. Basically, what this means is we can throw on uh, a training weapon and get a lot more experience. So this set is going to help us level up quicker. As you can see there, we've got 16% on our purple training staff. And this also gives us the ability to make a second staff that is sharpened or something along those lines. So if you want that extra damage in a dungeon or something, if you're doing dailies or whatever, you can just swap your weapon out. You're still gonna get a lot of experience from the rest of your training gear, but you're gonna get the effectiveness of this five piece as well. And then the second is Twice Born Star. This is gonna give us a line of health, stamina, and magic, and allows you to have two Munda Stones at the same time. So one, the Munda Stone doesn't get weaker as you level up, you have two Munda Stones, that's kind of it. So that's one good thing about Twice Born Star, is it won't degrade like a lot of other sets will. And the second part about it is it gives you versatility. So if you're leveling up and your, your sustain is fine, but then you get say five, six, levels past your gear and you start having sustain issues then you can go and swap out a recovery mundus and continue leveling generally i try and get a starter set around 14 and then one more set around the high 30s and then that's all i use to get to 50. so these are the two sets now a couple little other tip bits you want to make sure is first you want to unlock all your weapon uh your your armor skill lines and then you want to get whatever your main weight is going to be. So say if you think you're going to run light armor, you get free light, two medium, two heavy. And this way you're leveling up your off armor traits, but also leveling up your uh, main one a little bit quicker. Now I, you want training on all of your body pieces. Now the expensive part, the only expensive part in this build is going to be the jewelry piece. Now this doesn't cost a whole lot if you just want white or green but don't go be asking for purple off people because that is pretty expensive generally you just want the white piece or a green piece just so you can get the two five piece bonuses in this build you are going to be left with two slots you're like in your jewelry and you can just fill these with random pieces that you may pick up along the way now thirdly a lot of people may be sitting here going johnny i'm a new player and you're you're talking about crafted gear i don't have my skill lines crafted leveled up and so on so on for the first week of this video being uploaded if you leave me a message i will craft you some below 50 gear i won't be crafting cp gear just for you new guys that need some help i'll craft you some low level training gear the same build as what we have in this build now, if you're watching this in the future, joining guilds like this training gear to someone like me doesn't cost fuck all. It's not even worth getting reimbursed for really. Um, some people may ask for a little bit of gold to cover some of the maps, but generally people will offer to craft you training gear for free if you're nice and polite about it. So join some guilds, ask in zone chat. As a whole, the ESO community is pretty friendly and pretty nice, so it shouldn't be too hard to find someone with the ability to craft you this set. Just be polite and don't ask for too much, really. I know people that will be like, can you craft me a level 10, level 15, and level 20, 25, 30? Make me 20 sets of armor, so 
don't do that because people will tell you to piss off. But yeah, that's that's basically what I'm talking, what we really need to discuss in this video. Um, once you get over a CP, once you get into CP levels, you can swap that twice born star out for something else, but you're gonna wanna keep Heartland ready even golding out Heartland once you get to CP160. That's what I did on EU and half the reason why I got to 1,000 CP as quickly as I did over there. But if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment section. Uh, especially if you're a new player, you might, might have a lot of those. And yeah, I can help answer any questions you might have. Anyway, boys and girls, as always, I love yous and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.